Hey everybody, this is Kara Crossley Brindle. I wanted to talk about something I was noticing last week, and it's an ongoing issue in working with millennial and Gen Z generations. Maybe you actually relate to this. Do you actually take compliments when you receive them? Do they actually land? If not, <laughs> this video is for you. So why do we have such a huge issue with taking compliments? What's going on? I have four ideas as to why this is happening. Number one, perfectionism. It's a population I serve. I identify as a perfectionist. If we set the bar really high for ourselves, it makes it that much easier to be like, oh, I can't believe what you say. You don't even know me. Like, it just bounces right off. It doesn't land because I'm holding myself to such a high standard that anything you say might not actually feel true. Number two, imposter syndrome. You don't even know me. Uh, that's not true for me. Like I can't take that in because as you're giving me this compliment, my imposter syndrome is dialing up really loud saying, oh, but you're a fraud. Someone's going to figure out you don't know anything about what you're doing. So if you can relate to that, that's a part of this puzzle as to why compliments are so hard to receive. Number three, participation trophies. So I'm an elder millennial, which means that I'm part of the group of people who didn't have a participation trophy for everything that we did, but right below me are folks who did. Why is this connected to compliments? Well, participation trophies by principle were given because you participated. It wasn't because you did well or that you did horrible. You just got one automatically. I see in my clientele that I serve that participation trophies have spurred workaholism, have spurred perfectionism, because now if we've set the bar for everyone as the same, we have to work that much harder to stand out, to do something worthwhile, to be seen as stellar. So is this part of why compliments don't land is because compliments feel like participation trophies. Everyone gets them. Do they really mean anything? Are there strings attached? Are they just empty words? Final, number four, on our list of why compliments are so hard to receive. There's a huge dynamic of, I have to stay humble. I can't be cocky. So if I say, thank you so much for that compliment. Oh my gosh, I feel really good about myself right now. Am I that much closer to being cocky? This could be one of the reasons that people struggle to take compliments is if I start to believe the nice things that are said about me, am I going to become narcissistic, cocky, not humble when I'm told, especially as women, I work with a lot of women <laughs> that we're supposed to stay humble. So those are the four things I'm thinking about as a mental health professional as to why generations of people are having a hard time taking and receiving compliments. Perfectionism, participation trophies, imposter syndrome, and must be humble. I'm curious what your thoughts would be. Stay tuned for the next video in this little series of what happens to us when we can't take that compliment followed by a video on here are some strategies to actually let compliments land. I'll see you in the next one.